Why does an orange pop a balloon? Let's find out. So there's a couple of science videos floating around the interwebs currently showing that citrus or orange peels break balloons. Now, why is that? Let's look at it. I'm going to show this effect. I'm going to show you it a couple of different ways in slow motion with water balloons and normal balloons. And then we're going to go into the science of why this actually works. This is so cool. First off, I'm just going to grab a balloon. I got a bunch of balloons here. These are not uh, really high quality ones. In fact, if you get the vulcanized rubber balloons, it probably is not going to work because of the way that they've been treated. So you do have to get the kind of the lower quality balloons in order for this to work, like water balloons. Okay, so let's try this. This is a balloon. I'm going to cut a bit of a peel off of an orange. And then I'm going to spray it. Oops. I'm going to spray the balloon with the peel. Woohoo! Okay, I thought it wasn't going to work, but then it did. It scared me. That's okay. So it actually worked. It worked completely. I'm going to see if I can zoom in with slow motion now to show you the popping of the balloon. Isn't that cool? So, why does that work? Well, it's not as simple as, well, you know, citric acid is an acid and acid dissolves stuff. So, you know, it'll pop the balloon. No, the citric acid part doesn't actually come into play. In fact, the chemical at fault is limonene. Now, limonene is a hydrocarbon and it exists within orange peels. And limonene, being a hydrocarbon, is nonpolar. Guess what balloons are? They're also hydrocarbons, which are also nonpolar. So what happens is, remember, like dissolves in like. So, say, food coloring will dissolve in water, but oil will not, because water is a polar molecule and oil is not a polar molecule. Well, both of these two things are nonpolar molecules. So when the little bit of limonene oil gets on top of the hydrocarbons of the balloon, part of the balloon gets dissolved into the limonene, weakening it and popping it. It's really cool. This has been a shorter episode because I just wanted to cover this. I wanted to pop some balloons and show you some balloon science. This is Destructive Creativity. I'm Jonathan Allers. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the like button. See you next time. Bye.